Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. 
Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe you think you could put in a good word for me. Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. So, uh, how's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd do in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come at the Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucker mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Forever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Well, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Ain't nothing. Nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Hey, you, get out. No, no, come on, have a heart. Thank you. Ah, oh, damn it. It was a red light, you know. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? 
Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, wait, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right. A guy I know who works for Clementi called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clementi's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Was he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clementi. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Yeah, take a seat, Henry. So... Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scaletta.